Hey. Uh, <laughs> hello. How, how are you? It's great to see you again. Uh, do you remember me? Oh, are you sure? Does the name Belle sound familiar? Well, yeah, I know about her because... I am her! She's me! I know, I don't look like Belle. I'm in disguise, hey. Look, you know what I really look like. I can't walk the streets in my usual form without causing panic. Please just let me in. Ah, thank you. Mm. Uh. Mm. Oh, it feels so good to stretch out my tail again. You have no idea how much effort it takes to hold a form for that long. <laughs> of course it's me, silly. That's what I was saying. I can't really blame you, though. I did look like a completely different person. By which I mean I look like a person. You know, human. Meh. Oh, trust me. I would have just appeared in your house, but I don't... exactly have a say in where I end up. My mother controls all that. She thinks I'm hunting again. And hunting in the same area too much can cause suspicion, so I had to walk quite a ways to get here. Actually, I took the bus. Can you believe it? No, I'm not here to feed again. I just wanted to check in. How much do you remember? Hmm. So the last thing you remember is me getting you water? Nothing after? No, no, nothing special happened after that. You just laid in bed, we cuddled, and you went right to sleep. <laughs> what are you blushing for? Yeah, we cuddled. Why are you acting so weird about it? <laughs> Look, I was just relaxing you. There's nothing more to it. I know that cuddles are a super intimate thing in the human world, but when you live in a wasteland of sin, that kind of stuff is super tame. Plus, you really enjoyed it. You slept like a very comfy rock. <laughs> Jeez, no need to be so defensive. Um, anyway, I wanted to say thank you. You know, for that night, I was in a really bad state emotionally, and... Despite me being a demon, you helped me out. It was really nice of you. It was really something to be able to speak and not be talked over. Actually be listened to. Like, wow. And letting me feed on you was something I was seriously not expecting. That took a lot of trust. We're pretty short on that where I come from. Just saying. No, you weren't obligated to do anything. Honestly, I wouldn't have blamed you for calling the cops and scheduling an exorcism on your house. Um, thanks for not doing that. <laughs> and also, thanks for the idea of tricking my mother into letting me come back home. I don't know what I would have done without that. Anyway, as a part of that thanks, I got you a gift. Is that weird? I hope it's not too weird. It's not. <laughs> Good. Okay, close your eyes. Hold out your hands. Come on, play along. <laughs> That's the spirit. Okay. Open them. Yeah, it's a flower. It's not just any flower. Look, it's a glutton flower. Grows only in the bone gardens of hell. I hope you like it. Whoa, get your face away from that. See those thorns on the edge of the petals? Yeah, those aren't actually thorns. They're teeth. Well, don't look so scared. The worst it can do is scratch you, but it hurts like hell. Pun not intended, by the way. Oh, it really doesn't require much maintenance. Just feed it scraps of meat every couple of days or so. 
And if it tries to climb out of its pot, that just means it's cold. Pop it in the microwave for 20 seconds. It'll be all right. <laughs> no, it won't catch fire. Do you really think something can survive in hell without being flameproof? Exactly. So, do you like it? Like, actually like it? Not just fake like it so you won't hurt my feelings? Oh, good. Okay. I was worried that this would, like, freak you out. But then I thought about how you weren't scared of me, so I just decided to go for it. Huh? Y you weren't scared of me because of what? <laughs> no, no. Say it. Oh, um, thank you. No one's ever complimented me like that before. <laughs> well, I guess there's no use in just standing here, rambling to each other. <laughs> what do you want to talk about? <laughs> I'm asking you because I don't know either, dork. <laughs> yes, you are. You're a big dork. You're a huge dork. Okay, whatever you say, Dorcas. Well, you've asked a lot about me, but I don't know much about you, so... Tell me. What do you like to do? Who do you hang out with? What kind of work are you in? I want all the details. Mm-hmm. Really? <laughs> that's cool. Interesting. Wow. Thank you for telling me about yourself. I always enjoy learning about humans. And I've got to tell you, you are not too bad. <laughs> oh, I understood everything you said. Why are you so surprised? Oh. Listen, even though you're from Earth, if you spent most of your life traveling to Hell to steal energy from demons, I think you'd learn a thing or two about us. Anyway, just tell me more. Let's share stories. <laughs> no way, that actually happened. Uh, kind of reminds me of this one time, or I was still a little kid, like maybe 33, 34. I was practicing with my training trident when this hellhound came running in out of nowhere. It was one of the ones with three heads. Uh, just imagine Cerberus as a puppy. Anyway, it jumped at me and bit down on my trident. Ugh, oh, that hound had one of the points in each mouth. <laughs> I spent a good ten minutes trying to wrestle the thing away from it. Little me thought this was a battle to test my strength, but in reality, it probably just wanted to play. Eventually, I managed to take my trident back, and the dog ran away. I named it Nibbles. Of course I did trident training. Don't you remember that trident throwing contest I told you about like an hour ago? No, it wasn't just a fun camp activity. It was a big thing. A few hundred years ago, humans who considered themselves adventurers started hunting demons. So it became like a normal part of our schooling to learn fighting with a weapon as well as magic. Demon hunters are pretty rare nowadays, but the training still happens. It's kind of like a cultural thing now. And tridents aren't the only weapons I can use. I also know how to wield spears, swords, axes, hatchets, daggers, throwing knives, scythes, medieval flails. Oh yeah, I did a ton of stuff with weaponry as a kid. <laughs> with all of my siblings being such show-offs, I wanted to be better than one of them at something. But once I won that contest, I mellowed out about it. Hey, it's been really nice talking to you. You're pretty cool. Would you believe me if I told you I was worried about things being awkward? <laughs> you were worried about that too? Guess I'll add another tally to the similarities chart. <laughs> Seriously though, this was great. I haven't felt this happy since... before. Oh, sorry, it's just about my mom again. No. Oh. I don't want to ruin today by complaining about her. You sure you're okay with this? You're not going to be annoyed? If you insist. Okay. This might take some time to explain, 
Uh, when a demon is born, one of their parents, typically the mother, performs a binding ritual on them. It gives one demon control of the other's powers. They choose what powers work, how well they work, and when they work. And this is all to stop little kids from recklessly casting spells, and it makes them easier to keep in line. This ritual can be undone, and it usually is when you reach a hundred years old. It's like how you humans get certain legal rights when you turn 18. The last time I felt really happy was when I thought she was going to undo the binding ritual, but then she refused. <laughs> why? Because she thinks I'm weak, that's why. Just because I don't enjoy hurting people, or manipulating humans. Apparently I'm too stupid to have my own agency. <sighs> mm. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't mean to get hated up, it's just... She thinks that I need to take more initiative in life, but when I do, she gets mad at me because it's not her way. Guess what, Mom? I'm not doing things your way because I'm not you. Oh, well, there technically is a way to undo the binding ritual, but that's no help. The only way to undo it, aside from the binder willingly undoing it, is by killing them, and I'm not doing that before you even suggest it. No, we're not going to kill my mother. First of all, I can't. I'm not strong enough. And even if we could, I don't believe in that kind of thing. No, there's nothing you or I can do to change this. I've tried so many times, but she just won't let up. I have to somehow prove to her that I'm capable of handling myself in the world, but also doing it her way. Mm, I wish there was. My siblings are no help. I was always kind of the butt of a joke for them. And my dad always tells me, Your mother knows best. Thanks, Dad. So I'm just alone in this, I guess. We've got to keep playing this war of attrition until one of us caves in. Ah, oh, you're right. I'm not alone anymore. Thanks to you. <laughs> I know you can't fix anything, but just being able to vent made me feel so much better. No, that's all I had to say. Thanks for letting me get that off my chest. So I'm guessing you're not opposed to meeting up again? Next Saturday. Um, what is that in real time? Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'd love to. You want to plan something special? I mean, sure. Just make sure it's at your place again, okay? I don't want to spend any more time disguised than necessary. Thanks. I'll be on my way then. Oh, I'll just tell Mom it was a failed hunt. I don't think she buys it, but she lets me come home anyway, most of the time. The other night was just an irritating exception. Well, if she doesn't let me in, then I'll just come back and put you to sleep again. Okay? Are you sure you won't want to cuddle again? I... Uh, you seemed to enjoy it last time. Hm, fine. We'll burn that bridge when we come to it. Thanks again, by the way. For everything. Alright, I'll see you Saturday. <laughs> Dork. Nope, I didn't say that. You must be hearing things. Bye!